Yo, what's up everyone? I'm CD of Fair Games. Welcome to another Spin Tires Mod Request Series video where you, the viewers, get to decide what vehicle I take out next in the next series video, which happens every Friday. Now for today's video, Bob Lee has requested either Brute Terror's new Ford Super Duty or a Blazer. I decided to go for the Blazer this episode just because Brute's new Super Duty is almost identical as his old Super Duty. Only thing that is different is just the visuals, and there is no driver in the new one. So that's why I decided to take out SID's 1975 K5 Blazer. And I haven't actually had the chance to take this out on the user-made map yet. So this should be a treat. We are on Pinion Hills OHV. Pretty awesome map, has some technical areas, which I love. And it should be the ultimate challenge for this K5 Blazer. Alright, so that's enough of that. Let's go over the attachments. There is actually not too many, there's just two different sets of tires. And honestly, that is all what you need if you're running Spin Tires Plus. And if you're not already, come on, get with the program. Spin Tires Plus is an awesome program that allows you to tweak your settings in Spin Tires. And honestly, it creates a more realistic experience. Well, that's my personal opinion, at least. Now that's out of the way, it's time to fire this up and hit the trails. Oh, I just love the sound of the key vibes. Definitely this end is 6x6. Disengage my brake. Now I got a nice little route planned out for you guys today. But this 5 looks awesome. It looks a lot better with the new reskin. And I think he has done a couple of extra things too. He's got his new license plate on it. I think that's new. <laughs> I could be wrong. Alright, so we're going to go across this bridge here. We're going to hit the mud, then get into some rock crawling as well. Easy now, don't want to fall off the bridge. And the camera around. And that map looks pretty awesome. A little deep there. Pretty technical in some places too. Oh, uh, we're covering mud already, look at that. Easy. Ooh, that's deep. Good thing we have a high water level threshold. That one was a little bit deep there too. Awesome. And what, ooh, now that is really deep. Wow, we were completely under for a second there. But no problem, we crawl right out, out of that. We got another little dip here. That one's not too bad. Over this one. Nice. Oh, a little bit muddy, not too bad at all. Awesome. Now I wonder if SID is actually going to paint his blazer up like this. If you don't know yet, but SID has this, this I think, an identical blazer in real life. I'm not quite sure if it's the same year or not, but it looks pretty cool, I must say. Now we're at the rock crawling section. Now, this is pretty technical, and this should be quite the challenge for this K5. But the, all we have to do is find the sweet spot, and we should be good to go. So far, so good. Ooh, a little bit of damage there. We're kind of high centered. Smash to the bottom of our rockers on that rock there. There we go. Nice. No problem. I thought I might have had it backed up there to get out of that. But, uh, no, she turned out pretty good. Center of gravity on this blazer is pretty good. If it was bad, we wouldn't end up flipping there. Alright, here we go. With squeeze. Adjust our wheels to find the sweet spot. There we go. While we were moving, we're kind of digging down the mud right there. We're not getting our traction so it's back up. Try a different route. Adjust our line a bit. The 
Yeah, we were tired of that getting hung up. So let's try crawling this here. Nice. Now that's how you do it right there. shift there we probably would have made it up no problem but we we're still catching traction awesome how oh, that was quite the hill there all right we'll rip down the other one and then back up the other one whoa <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's an even steeper hill there. Let's hit it. I don't think we'll be able to get up it, but we can always try. Oh, look, it's almost like a 90 degree slope. I don't think we're going to make it up this one. Because that is freaking crazy. Alright, let's back up. We'll ramp up that one though. For sure. This is really getting in the mud, I must say. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so we'll go up the uh, next one. Jump down the other one. Up one that we came down already. Make it up this one. Oh, one has the other 90. <laughs> Not quite 90, maybe 75 would be slow. Can we make it? Oh, I swear if this was all mud, we would be able to make it, but the slope's just too, too hard. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get up this slope. Probably if we go off to our right a little bit. Other way, bush. Oh, 
Alright, so we definitely have more traction in the mud. Alright, let's see if we can crawl up over right here. We're just about there. Yes, yes. Awesome. We made it up that. Now that was quite the slope. Alright, so which one should I ramp it off? <laughs> Let's get a run at that one. Or actually, let's bypass that. Let's go down through here. I would probably just end up wrecking myself anyway. And honestly, this would be too nice to wreck. Play in the mud a little bit and the water. Whoa, easy now. <laughs> we did a 180. Nice little pond here. He looks a little deep though. <laughs> Alright, let's wash off the K5, wash off the mud. Hopefully, not drown ourselves at the same time. There, she looks clean enough. Let's get up on shore <laughs> until we get to the body again. Now, this K5 Blazer is the last to drive. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really means a lot to me. It really helps this channel grow. And if you have a mod suggestion for next series video, please let me know in the comments down below. Well, that is it for now, everyone. And as always, till next time, I shall see you on the trails.